Today I will be giving you a presentation about Francis Bacon and the Enlightenment. Um, what is science? Well, for Bacon, the intellectual founder of science, it is for terms and laboratories, not individuals in chair arm, in armchairs. Francis Bacon was an Enlightenment thinker who was born in London and living between 1561 to 1626. He is well known for his philosophical work. The Enlightenment was a cultural and intellectual movement that spread throughout places such as England, France, Germany, and other parts of Europe during the 1700s. It was a period of time during which the logic and reason was used to decide how a country should be organized. Uh, the, focused, the main focus was religion and the use of logic and reason to establish what is true religion. The, Scientific re revolution and the Enlightenment were similar in some ways. They both opened up a path for thoughts in the fields of math, astronomy, physics, economics, and philosophy. The Enlightenment offered the opportunity for many people to become educated, which was very critical. It also helped to establish the democracy in the United States. Not only did it affect the United States, but it also affected the western part of the world. During the Enlightenment, there were numerous people who contributed, and these names include Francis Bacon, John Locke, Isaac Newton, Caesar Bessario, and Immanuel Kant. Throughout the, this period of time, the Enlightenment produced countless books and essays and various inventions, and lastly, new laws. From examining the life and works of the Enlightenment thinker, Francis Bacon, it is clear that his ideas about what science entails still reflects in how the field of science is today. Can you imagine what it would be like to be Francis Bacon and come up with all these new different scientific, scientific advancements? Would it be easier or difficult to make people have trust in your work? Uh, Francis Bacon's bio. He was born in 1561 in London. He died in 1620, or 1626. He was the, young, the youngest son of Nicholas Bacon, who was the Lord Keeper of the Seal and Chancellor. Uh, when Bacon was 12 years old, he went to Trinity College. His father died in 1579 when he was 18. He became a scientist, politician, and author. And also, he was very well known for his English philosophy. Uh, but he was best known as an Enlightenment thinker who came up with a scientific method. Um... He, one day he was sadly arrested and imprisoned for bribery, and he became an attorney general for English and the Lord Chamberlain of England. Now I'll be giving you his key ideas. During the Enlightenment, he invented the scientific method, and he also wrote, um, and he also wrote that in order to prove something you have to see. Uh, which is smell, taste, touch, which is part of our five senses. Senses. He believed that data has to be collected and analyzed in order to re create a hypothesis. Once one has a hypothesis, experiments should be done to test that hypothesis in order for knowledge to be gained. The Napoleonic Code, which is was a French code that was created by Bacon. He believed that nature will tell you its secrets if you work hard. Um, learning to his, learning to, to his way of thinking should not stop. Uh, that should all be willing to open their eyes and mind to the world in which they live in order to continue learning. Throughout his lifetime, Bacon was influenced by Aristotle. He always wanted to learn and thought that all existing knowledge was something he should pursue. Now I'll be giving you his impacts of the ideas. The French code helped build the basis of different laws. It kept expanding over time and from place to place. Our laws are based off the laws that Bacon created. We just modified them. His, philosoph his philosophy impacted people because he pointed out the, that humans at times made errors when interpreting what their senses reveal. Um, by doubting everything, people would be forced to do experiments, which should be done over and over again to be considered correct. Today, in order to prove if something is true, we still use Bacon's method of doubting and experimenting.
Now we're giving you a passage from his work. In the same decades of the early 17th century, which Galileo in Italy was forging the new scientific pra practice, Francis Bacon in England proclaimed the birth of a new era in which natural science would bring a man a material redemption to accompany his spiritual progress toward the Christian millennium. Now to the primary source. This is a this type of source is primary source. It was written by Bacon. This source was created in 1620. Bacon is an intellect who was writing during a time of a lot of change in the world and the changes include scientific, political, intellectual, and philosophical. This is Francis Bacon's plan of a great in in staturation. He had six different parts where he broke down his plan about how humans can accomplish intelligence. It also shows how he is very interested in religion and explains that the Father is responsible for creating us. The Creator was addressing humans based on his understanding of the Bible. He thought a man had to have more knowledge and that that is how you reach paradise. Through love you will get some of the knowledge. There are six stages that you need to go through in order to reach paradise. Yes, this source is very reliable. And also, yes, the source is very reliable since it came from Bacon. Uh, lastly, Francis Bacon is an Enlightenment thinker who is well known for his scientific method and what he taught still reflects the field of science today. Thank you for your time and attention, and these are my sources.